Hello there, my name is Stephen Ball and I'm the product manager here at Embarcadero for Interbase. Now I want to share with you in this video three things that I think you should be looking for in a mobile database. Number one, you should be looking for a database that supports you throughout the product life cycle. Number two, you need to look for a database that addresses the security challenges that we have to face up to as developers and organizations today. And number three, you need to look for a database that's going to help you keep your data up to date. So let's start off with easy to use throughout the product life cycle. For me, a database that's easy to use throughout the product life cycle is one that I can create my database on my development machine, that I can then run my tests and everything on my Windows machine or Mac machine, I can then deploy that database along with my application that I've developed out onto iOS or Android to make sure, or onto a, you know, a Windows device, um, and get it out there very, very simply and easily without having to do any changes to the database layer. Now, to achieve that, you need to have the same format on disk format for all of the supported platforms. You need to be able to embed your database logic your stored procedures and your triggers inside the database so they're platform independent. You also want to be able to ramp up the speed of development using great features like inbuilt user security and, um, uh, and, and encryption. And that kind of brings us nicely into the second part, which is to do with addressing the security challenges we face today. Now, a big challenge that we face today as developers is choose your own device and bring your own device policies. Now, the devices that we're targeting out to with our applications are no longer set inside the trusted domain that we've had for a long time. So on-disk encryption has become an essential part of what we provide. So we need to make sure that our data throughout the product lifecycle is encrypted. So going back to our first point, when we are developing our applications, we need to have our data encrypted from the very start because if I put it on a USB stick and then I leave that in the back of a taxi, we've got a security breach. If I'm moving data from an encrypted device to my development machine, how can I make sure that database is fully encrypted throughout? So your database engine needs to provide a level of encryption that is um, on that file. Now, the second challenge that we face in terms of uh, data that's being encrypted is making sure that only the right people see the right data at the right time. As a developer, I may love to be able to download the and debug the human resources application and find out what everybody else in the team is earning, but it might be slightly against company policy. Also, I may be working on a medical application that has got medical data. Now, I may need to be able to see some parts of the data, but not others, and having that encryption and decryption algorithms built into the user security policies within the database is essential to be able to provide complete product lifecycle security. Now, the third thing is about keeping data up to date on devices. This is a real challenge. Uh, traditionally, it's been done with logging date time fields, and otherwise it's been done with triggers in the database to log changes. With the mobile world we live in, this is now exceptionally complicated because we now have thousands of devices wanting to be kept up to date. Now, luckily, we have a new technology here at Embarcadero um, built into the Interbase engine called ChangeViews. And I want to just quickly share with you how ChangeViews can help you just collect the data deltas that you require to update the remote devices. So let's imagine we've got our database here and we're just going to quickly draw out some columns and we'll have the same data being deployed out to my device. Now, if I make a couple of changes here, when I come and ask the database for the data, it should be able to tell me that only these fields here have changed. So I can then go and update those. When I come back later on, as a subscriber to the data. I can then ask for what else has changed. Well, at the moment, nothing. So I disconnect and I go about my life. We then may add some more changes to the database, which we then need to be able to identify as changes, the deltas, which we can then bring down. 
Now each time we're just finding what has changed. We could find something up here has changed. And again, I just need to be able to pick up that one change. That's what change views allows you to do. And not only that, it does it at a near zero footprint on the central database that's um, there. Or if this is on a device, you may be updating local data and you want to pick up what you need to send back. Now, if that kind of technology is something that you need today, then you owe it to yourself to click on the link below and follow, um, follow back to the Inspace pages to find out more about Inspace and how it can help you today. Now, these three key things really will help you get to mobile successfully. I hope this has been useful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll chat to you soon.